What is up everybody? Let's take a look into how you can connect your Google domains into your Shopify. The process of how you can do this is actually really, really simple. So let's do two things. First of all, go into your Shopify, open a new tab and do the second thing, which is open your Google domains. So what I want to do is to find a Google domains and then later on I can connect this domain directly into my Shopify, right? So first of all, let's go into the settings inside your Shopify. I want to look out for my store details. Uh, as you can see here, I scroll all the way down and I can find the domains down in here. So if I click them, I wanted to just click into upgrade my plan and I'm going to actually change my store so you can see how it's actually looking. So what I want to do inside my domains is to connect an existing domain since I already purchased my domain from Google domains, right? So I'm going to hit now into Google domains and I'm going to hit into the domain that I wanted to buy. So first of all, you needed to find the domain that you wanted to buy. Here's the registration code. The RMU is on, custom email, or Google Workspace if you wanted to, and hit now into checkout and you pay for the product. So when you purchase an actual domain, from Google Domains is going to appear in here into my domains. I do have a domain into another section, but the process is actually exactly the same because we do have all the valuables in here. So first of all, I wanted to copy my domain and paste it into my actual domain section of Shopify. I hit into next and it's going to be asking you to follow the setting instructions. I go now into verify connection and as you can see, I do have all of these elements. So in order to add this domain into Shopify, just wanted to enter the required values. For example, this one asks us for an A record. So we wanted to go back into the DNA section. I'm going to go into actions. I add a, a record about the host in this case is at empty the required values this one and hit into save my changes second value c name double triple w and required value so let's go back add me we called c name triple w we paste this and hit into save changes well, now let's go with verify connection and there we go my domain is now working as you can see it says primary for all in store and we are now successfully done so as you can see, it's not that hard. What is now a little bit hard is to choose an actual URL for your custom store into Shopify and do the process with Google domain or with another provider of a hosted domains. It's actually the same process. So uh, hopefully guys, it was very useful information for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to see more great tools of how we can get started in here. Thank you so much for watching the video guys and hopefully I can see you next time. See you soon.